Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Aries Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the week of December 26th through January 1st. Wow, can't you guys believe this, okay? Going on this week for our Aries Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the week of December 26th. Mm, devil energy, Capricorn energy. December 26th through January 1st. What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? Alright you guys, quick disclaimer before we get right into this reading. For a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order. For other you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you guys. We have temperance in reverse. got the three of swords in reverse you guys the king of swords in reverse we have the two of cups in reverse the ten of pentacles in reverse the empress in the upright position okay and then we have the seven of cups in the upright position like I literally finished the week off and back of deck energy is the strength card Leo energy Okay, so you guys like, wow. Let's just go ahead and talk about this um, overall energy real quick. With this strength card energy, I feel like you guys are really going to be showing a lot more love and compassion or wanting to or overall feeling the energy or the urge to be there, you know, for someone, care for someone or somebody being there caring for you having your back supporting you all of those things and it's like man <clears throat> you realizing the strength that you have or going through some things during this week that is going to <clears throat> strengthen you and not only strengthen you like physically I'm saying strengthening your love, strengthening your compassion, strengthening who you are on the inside. And I love that, you know, for you guys because it's a part of the transformation. For a lot of you guys, it's the transition between, you know, one year into the next year and trying to figure out where you want to be, what your goals are. Now, looking at you guys, it's very, you do have the Temperance card in reverse, which is here. And then you have the Empress card that is in the upright position. Um, so, I feel like although the Temperance card is in reverse, it's still bringing some type of balance for you to realize something. So, you guys, with the Temperance card being in reverse... That just means there's some type of imbalance going on in your life um, and it may pertain to you know your spirituality it may pertain to you know your love life it may pertain to you know your work life your career life school life whatever it is that you're doing Aries and you just may be feeling kind of shaky you know during this week like oh man you know it it's time it's about to be a new year what do i want to really focus on um is what i'm seeing and you may be feeling 
you know, unbalanced. You may be feeling like you're trying to rush and do some things. You're being divinely guided to just take your time. Also, you have the Empress card here letting you know, like, you need to be nurturing yourself, pampering yourself, like, enjoying your time um, with yourself. Now, with this Three of Swords energy, you know, being in reverse, this energy is letting us know that you guys are probably going to be reflecting on a grief um, or some pain that you've experienced in the past is what I'm getting here. Something that may have caused you to be unbalanced or you may have lost a loved one that you're thinking about during, you know, this new year time, wishing you were bringing the new year in with this person or a past relationship. So let me know um, in the comments how you guys are feeling about that when it comes to relationships. And it also can be like, you know, platonic relationships, people who are your actual friends, not just somebody that you're romantically in love with. Um, it can also be like a very close family member that you're wishing you're spending time with, but you guys may not be able to, you know, bring the new year in together. Now, oops. The king of swords don't want to get up <laughs> so like with the king of swords being in reverse you guys like this energy can be like ruthlessness you know you kind of like speak in your mind very aggressively or you know saying some things that you're not meaning to say or being overly competitive about some things that you're wanting to do or trying to you know how sometimes you can Aries is a very competitive sign, so come on, guys. <laughs> um, you know how somebody could probably be succeeding or quote-unquote look to be doing better than you and you just may be trying to advance or trying to hurry up and, you know, finish this year off strong. <clears throat> this could also mean, like, with this Two of Cups energy being in reverse, you guys, this energy is about partnerships. And with this Two of Cups being in reverse, it's letting us know there could be some miscommunications that's going on in your partnerships. You know, some things that are not being understood. And there, there goes to tell us with this Temperance card being in reverse, there's some imbalances, you know, going on in your life. Now, these imbalances are challenges that you need. Challenges that you need to, you know, write down, sit with, um, understand. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you know. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles being in reverse, this could be like a family, you know, like a family financial issue. You know, family arguing about money, um, arguing about, you know, what they've done for you, arguing about um, how they may have put you in a better spot or how they put you on, Um regarding finances or resources that they may have provided for you you know aries sometimes you have people in your life you know especially family and especially that snake friend um who will say things to you like oh yeah don't forget who put you on like little stuff like that you wouldn't have that if it wasn't for me type stuff and i feel like you guys are probably going to be reflecting on that and experiencing that during this week you know with the Empress card, you know, Spirit is needing for you to focus on you. Focus on your beauty. Focus on your self-care. Focus on your upbringing. And it's not saying like, oh yeah, I'm going to, you know, put me first. It's not saying that. It's like, okay, just start including yourself with the things that you do for people. Not just doing it for them, but do it for you too, you know? And I feel like that is a major thing that's going to be going on during this week. Like finding the balance between um, nurturing yourself and caring for yourself and others at the same time. And realizing that you can do both. You don't have to neglect yourself, right? With the Seven of Cups energy, um, this energy is letting us know that the things that we see in the outside world is not as they seem. You know? This is not what it is. Although things may be looking a different way through the lenses of quote unquote social media, television, the news, whatever, those things are not as they seem. There are exaggerated expressions to like put you in fear. All right. 
All right, so let's get into these Black Moon Astrology cards, y'all. These things have been my favorite lately. I've been loving the Black Moon Astrology cards. Um, bro, like, I'm telling you. So, overall, during this week, I really feel like you guys are going to be overcoming um, temptation as well as finding balance, you know? Finding balance. All right, so we're going to get into these Black Moon Astrology cards to see what it is that our Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs need to hear. Looks like you guys got two. Wow, 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 wow. You know, and this is beautiful that this came out because... This is Aquarius energy up and down, okay? You guys got Aquarius, I know, and you have the 11th house friends. And that is basically the same thing. That's the same energy. And like I was saying, you know, this is about including everyone, okay? Not just putting yourself first like Aries and Leo energy or, you know, just putting other people before you being a people pleaser like a Libra. This is about including inclusive uh inclusive uh, i can't say the word y'all <laughs> please back up for me okay <laughs> um so we have the 11th house friends and aquarius i know so let's go ahead and read the 11th house which is friends which is aquarius energy let's do it all right let's get into it don't walk behind me i may not lead don't walk in front of me I may not follow. Just walk beside me and be my friend. The three graces of hope, faith, and charity. The bonds of friendship. Rely upon support from friends and other occasions. Don't attempt to go it alone. You will need help. The 11th house is all about associations and how we connect to others. It is the house of group alliances, ideals, and our aspirations in a public or social arena. This 11th house is commonly referred to as the house of friends, but it is so much more than that. It is how it has everything to do with the collective that comes from groups, people who identify and align with each other to make social change. By combining our energies with others, we can make our world, but more importantly, the domain of others, a better place. The 11th house has much to do with our destiny, what we decide to give before we leave this earth, our soul's purpose. The 11th house deals with the greater good and living up to an ideal. The 11th house card says that we are not in this world alone and that it is time to aim higher and go along the broader society to work with others or share energies. As it's not a good time to work on your own, the support of allies in other groups are necessary. The 11th house points out how we are distinct. It is a reminder that we are unique among groups and friends. When this card turns up in a reading, the focus is on friends, what groups you belong to, and who you associate with. To achieve your objectives, pooling your resources with those of others may be necessary. They, there will be changes in your friendships and occasions, or possibly you may be able to achieve an important goal or desire based upon who you know. It represents a collective creativity. A friend may have the very information you need to further advance your cause and goal, or it could be through the friendship of lovers or spouses that will allow you to attain your dream this means you are to hook up with the right people at the correct time now it is all about the people you know and what organizations you associate with even though it's a fortuitous time to join a class a club a society or a group it is also important you be a stand out all right others will support your individuality sometimes this card indicates the sudden appearance or differences of an old friend okay the 11th house is also the house of stepchildren or children who belong to your lover issues involving such children may arise looking to surrounding cards for the meaning of the issue the appearance of the 11th house card means the collective okay <laughs> those who support you as friends but can sometimes indicate open enemies and rivals it could also be a spirited competition <laughs> then we just talk about that you guys the competition competitiveness 
all right with the king of swords being in reverse all right spirited competition between you and another bringing out the best in both of you but in the end what works out is what works out best for all so it is not a good time to serve your needs only it is time to be a comrade and give consideration to friends all right now the competition like we were talking about the collective you nurturing yourself and being able to nurture others like not not just not including yourself you know being able to include everyone and what it is that you want to do all right let's get into this aquarius i know energy all right the best way to predict the future is to invent it okay in other words the best way to predict the future is to manifest it go for it do it expect to be tested and shown waves of the future ruled by the planet of sudden insight uranus but in earlier times saturn the planet of wisdom aquarians tend to have a natural aptitude for genius even those that are not geniuses are able to collect facts and knowledge far beyond the scope of those of other signs because of this vast intelligence it doesn't take aquarians long to see what they are superior in intellect to most people this gives them a certain disdain over anything they view as common or ordinary as seers into the future aquarians are ahead of the game and have accurate visions of the way things will be this is why the sign of aquarius rules scientific science fiction and anything brand new in reality aquarians see waves of the future in a way the rest of us cannot aquarians can be very stubborn in their views even when those views appear off the wall to others, they will fight long and hard just to have the freedom to stay weird. And they will fight for the rest of us to stay weird as well. Whatever is taboo or outstandish greatly appeals to them, if only in the imagination. So oftentimes they are artists, inventors, and speculative writers. As an air sign, meaning they are primarily mental and not emotional. They can be great humanitarians, but not very practical. And inside every Aquarian, no matter how attractive or glamorous, lives a geek, the type who wants to escape the mundane world and enter the realms of fantasy cons, the graphic novel appointment games, and role playing. At the same time, they can be rational and tend not to get caught up in emotional dramas. Aquarians are more interested in friendships over romantic relationships. In fact, Aquarians are at first a friend before being a lover, unless of course you insult them by disagreeing with their fat fetched ideas and then you are history. <laughs> Aquarians are very attracted to people of other ethnicities and races, so if they do decide to couple with someone, it's generally a person who does not come from the same background or sometimes even the opposite gender. Through all relationships, Aquarians will develop and grow often as some kind of artist. Yet, there is always a disconnect quality to Aquarians. They are noticeably peculiar, and in this, they pride themselves. If the Aquarius card represents itself in a reading, you can be assured friends and friendly alliances are about to help you achieve your goals. It's possible you are to meet a group of people to become involved in organizations that will support you in unusual plans and ideas. It may be like a family group, but the emphasis will be placed primarily on the ideas of the crowd if so you can consider yourself the idealistic pie Pied Piper at the front of the group. You may find yourself dealing with persons from an exotic or dissimilar background, those of a different ethnicity or culture than yours, from which you will learn greatly. Transgender people and cross-dressing may possibly mean something in your world right now. You will acquire different concepts and approaches through these dealings, which are changing you in the common coming months traveling too far away exotic places is likely to factor in mastering a new technology and dealing with futuristic concepts will be of benefit to you whatever you accomplish in the near future will be based on how well you master these new ideas and approaches science fiction or fantasies may become subjects of an art form for you another meaning behind this card is the meeting up of cutting edge people those who challenge what you believe to be true or established 
though it may not be. Many times these people will be artists. With this card choice, you are likely to be mastering something new and untried, which will lead you to greater awareness and success. I apologize for that being long, you guys. You know, air sign energy be long-winded. But overall, you guys, with this air sign energy is letting us know that during this week, Aries, is to focus on the collective, focus on the unity, focus on togetherness, focus on nurturing everyone, you know, and giving little by little instead of just giving, you know, your all so aggressively. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the numerology card so we can see what our Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs should mainly be focusing on during this week for December 26th through January 1st. Like, I cannot believe it's about to be my birthday, y'all. This is crazy. All right, so you guys got, ooh, okay, karmic completion. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So you guys have a music card. Listening to music may be your main focus. If you guys are listening to, like, guided meditations, um, lifting your vibrations, you guys have number ten, karmic completion. And this is about, like, karmic debts. This is about um, any debts popping up, anything that you're needing to pay or to, you know, pay attention to. Um, that Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So, you know, that family issue when it's coming to like finances pay attention to that you have number two patience being patient with yourself throughout this process when it comes to togetherness and not always putting people before you all right let's go ahead and get into this moonology card so we can see what other energies are surrounding you guys during this week so we have believe and the impossible to come out first as well as step out of your comfort zone um so following your true north node a personal issue reaches resolution all right and this is full moon and cancer energy and we are going to be coming up on the full moon and cancer sometime in january so be on the lookout for that the new moon in capricorn is coming as well all right so let's go ahead and get into the star sea oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from spirit so the first card to come out is empathic star sea is letting us know that your energetic sovereignty you absorbing what's not yours okay you guys have the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts now let's step back to the empathic star seed like that energy is about when we absorb other people's energy when we don't have you know control over what's going on in their life you know wanting to overextend ourselves like we said doing things as a collective but not overextending yourself giving little by little instead of giving your all um the golden lineage ugh, the golden children <laughs> inner child tenderness innocence and your rare gifts like aquarius energy we talked about a lot of you guys may be getting into you know new technology during this week we have i remember the soul plan the faded life vs the destiny life so you know that's that balance that's that battle you're going through with the temperance in reverse the two of cups in reverse all of that energy is coincide so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading aries please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye